Hi everyone, Siavash here and this episode I'm going to show you how you can connect your SendGrid to Entresoft so you can send the emails using your own domain. Alright, to begin with we just uh, jump ahead and go to SendGrid. So this is going to be from scratch. So first thing you go to SendGrid.com and go ahead and try to create a new account. So you just click on start for free. I'm just going to pause the video while I'm doing uh, while I'm creating an account. So it's basically pretty much you put your email address and it'll ask you a couple of questions about like your name, your company, uh, phone number and those kind of things. All right, if you land on your SendGrid for the first time and you don't see this uh, here, don't worry. All I all you need to do is you go to the settings on the left sidebar and then you scroll a little bit down and find a section called sender authentication you click on that now here what we're going to do we're going to hook up the domain that we are going to use for our uh, email addresses so basically for our email address so if you have your like for example your domain.com whatever the domain name is what we're gonna do we're gonna basically uh, authenticate that domain by adding some DNS settings that actually SendGrid is going to provide us and tell SendGrid that okay this is the domain that we want to work with and this is the domain that we own. Okay so let's go ahead and we just go ahead and click on get it started for DNS. We choose the host in my case I'm using uh, GoDaddy so I'm gonna find GoDaddy and click on GoDaddy and this is fine just click on no click on next and it says domain authentication removes via sandgrid.net so it will appear as you're gonna have your email address at your domain.com now what we're going to do we're going to just add my own domain so I'm just gonna use one of my uh, uh, example domains that I have so let's put uh, and then I click next don't worry about the advanced settings just click next now we're going to have the manual setup. So basically all you need to do, you need to add a three C name to your domain that we just provided and make sure that they point to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign into my GoDaddy and show you where you can actually put these C names. All right, here we are. I'm in my GoDaddy. What you want to do, you want to go to uh, top right, click on the accounts and click on my products. So it brings up all the domains that you have. And you find the domain that you actually provided there so as you can see this is one of the domain that I provide what you want to do you click on the three dots we want to manage the DNS so we click on that and we click on manage DNS once that comes up you will see a bunch of C name records uh, that are already there so what you just need to do is basically for every single one of those uh, C names that are here you go ahead and you click on add on top right you choose a type C name and then you provide what it says in here so you just simply copy this go back you paste it here and for the value we go back where it says points to we copy this again we come here and we paste it here you can use this uh, leave this as default and just click on add record so you basically go ahead and do this I'm just gonna go pause the video and do this and then we're gonna come back so once we're done we go back we click on this and then click on verify as you can see it's all worked if in your case you it's not getting updated if you're not using GoDaddy some of the uh, other domain provider it might take a little bit of time so just double check that everything is fine and just give it a little bit of time and then come back and verify again all right now we go back to return to sender now what you want to do you want to create and verify an email address so you just click on get it started and you just go ahead and provide uh, some information for the uh, sender all right so what you want to do is the email that you provide in here this email should be valid and you should have access to the inbox because what's going to happen is as soon as you click on create so what's going to happen SendGrid is going to send an, a verification email to that address and you have to be able to go to that inbox and verify that email so I'm going to go ahead and click on create and uh, it's already verified verified everything is fine everything looking good now the next step is let's go to sender and see if everything is okay so everything is fine all of them are all good 
Now, the last step is for us to integrate this with Entresoft. For that, we need to create something called API keys. So again, on your left sidebar, we go to the settings and then click on API keys. So the API keys, you just need to go ahead and click on create an API key. The important thing that you want to take note of is, first of all, you want to give full access. Second, once I create a new API key, it only shows me for one time. So you have to copy it and uh, keep it somewhere safe. Uh, and once it's gone, it's gone. It's not going to show you the key anymore because of the security reasons. So I'm just going to click the name for this one on Microsoft and just going to click on create and view. So as you can see, it says for security reason, we cannot show this to you again. So you just uh, once you click on the actual code, it's going to copy it. And now we need to go back to Entresoft to do the integration. All right, here we are. I'm in my Entresoft logged in. All you need to do is you go to settings. If you are using the new user interface, it's down at the bottom. If you're using the old interface, still the settings is down at the bottom. Go ahead and click on settings. Again, if it's the new user interface, you need to go to SMTP and Mailgun services, which is in your sidebar. If not, you're using the old version the SMTP should be somewhere on top in here. Either way, you go ahead and click on SMTP Mailgun Services. So it's, it comes up. So I'm in here, I've already have one send grid there. So all you need to do, you go ahead and click on Add Service. We click on Select Provider, we click on Send Grid. So for the username, you want to use API key or lowercase. For the email, we want to use that email uh, authenticated that we just created, so that was for me, in my case, was rmlinsiderclub.com. And for the password, is going to be your API key that we just copied. We go ahead and click on Save. And boom, as you can see, the next uh, the provider came up in here. It's all logged in. All you need to do, you basically select your default provider. In my case, is this one. You can go ahead and click on your send grid. One more thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is that you want to have your forwarding address. So if you want to use this, uh, you want to put the forwarding address there too. So what's going to happen is basically if you send a, send an email via Entresoft to a user or a subscriber, if they reply to you, uh, you want if and if you want to get the reply in your inbox as well, you want to provide your forwarding address there and just hit save. Otherwise, it only ends up in your conversation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. I have also another uh, tutorial on how to integrate a mailgun to Entresoft. So either way, if each one of these you want, uh, you prefer to use, SendGrid is a little bit, uh, it's one of my, uh, I prefer SendGrid a little bit better. But either way, if you want to have a look at that mailgun, I'll put the link up there. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also tap on that bell icon so every time I post a new video, you'll get notified. If you also want to learn more about how to do the tech side of the online marketing and online business, make sure that you join our membership or just click the first link down in the comment section or the description and we can go from there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.